Hey guys, me Alex Kudo here. We're going to be starting up a new series here. It's going to be called a science-based series. We're going to be going over different subjects and today we're going to be going over an eight-week program for social physique anxiety in adult males. So if you were to google what is social physique anxiety, this shows a more detailed description of what social physique anxiety is. But in short, social physique anxiety is an individual that is uncomfortable with what their physique currently is like. Now this is common across all platforms of the world. There has been many studies done on social physique anxiety, but I'm going to be talking about just one today. Now this is a subject that can be controversial and can be sensitive for a majority of people out there. Now there's also a lot of people that are very happy with the way they look despite not having the six pack abs or the big shoulders. But going over this study will help those individuals that are having trouble and are having those struggles with their physique currently. So this study goes over adult males. Now they're going to be undergoing an eight week program. All these adult males have social physique anxiety and how their conditions will change throughout the eight weeks. This article comes out of this university in Turkey. This is also published by Red Frame Publishing. There will also be a link below for this study if you guys want to go further in depth. Now it was published fairly recently here, February 20th of 2017. So 20 fairly unactive males aged 18 to 25 underwent 40 to 60% of resistance exercise during this eight week program. Having a physique that you are not happy with can affect you psychologically. This can affect you from even wanting to go to the weights. Now it talks about how the current look for a woman is to be skinny and the current look for men is to be muscular. Some people are happy with not having a very muscular physique and some women are happy with not having a very skinny physique. It's what's currently put on magazines that make people think differently. If you went to the store today and you went to go pick up a fitness magazine, just looking at the front cover, what do they choose? A top male physically fit athlete. And a lot of the time for the female, it's a skinny toned down physique. In these last couple years, people are determining what is socially accepted. At the end of the day, everybody deserves to be happy. Whether you're skinny, whether you're not skinny, whether you're muscular, whether you're not muscular. I believe if you're happy and healthy, that's what matters most. Now let's go back to the study. So around that puberty age is when you're psychologically going to be affected when it comes to physical appearance. That does not take away that at a young age, some individuals do face social physique anxiety as well. Now that we have a brief introduction towards social physique anxiety, let's talk about these individuals that were studied. 20 adult males aged 18 to 25. During their exercises, they used strength machines, band resistance machines, and dumbbells. Training for approximately one hour a day, three days a week for eight weeks. The exercises used in the study was the chest press, stead row, shoulder press, triceps extension, biceps curl, leg extension, leg curl, abduction, adduction. Prior to that eight week program starting, these individuals went through a two week program as well. That program consisted of 30% of their one MR, 10 repetitions, two days a week. The focus of the two week introduction was to get a correct grip, correct inhaling, and lifting with the correct technique. Now those individuals who adapted to the two weeks, this allowed the researchers to determine the 1TM by using the 10RM method. So during the four weeks, these individuals underwent a 12 repetition in 40% of estimated 1TM. In order for the researchers to determine whether they needed to increase the weight, they checked their 1TM again. Going over table one is the participant's baseline. N equals number of patients. Min max is the minimum and maximum. X is the average of the minimum and maximum. And SD is the standard deviation. Now table two is where things get interesting. This is gonna be the comparison between post and pre-exercise. After looking at this graph already, you can compare the differences between the pre and post exercise. To conclude this article, the researchers stated that because of the decrease in weight, the increase in strength, this will lower their likelihood of social physique anxiety. Researchers have also determined that this study can be used for different individuals. It can be used for females, it can be used for, used for elderly, so using it for different populations can allow us to broaden our perspective. So all in all, exercise, even with this eight week program, was able to change these individuals' lives. So I hope this study helped you. I know this is my first video when it comes to articles and I'm still getting used to this. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, please leave a like below, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.